this is Rashi and welcome back to the reading platter. First of all, I would like to wish you a very, very happy new year. And this year brings you a lot of joy and colors and health in your life. So I wish that every year is beautiful for you, especially 2021 after whatever we have been through in 2020. So we have a lot of expectations from 2021 and I hope all of them come true, all the good ones. So yes, uh, today is first and today is the new year. Not today when I'm filming this. Actually, it is new year eve today, I guess, because I'm filming it in like morning 2 a.m. So it's technically new year eve. It's 31st December. So, a uh, happy new year Eve and also a uh, very, very happy new year to all of you. And okay, so now let's move on to the video. So, first of all, uh, in my 2021 reading plans and goals video, I said that I won't be reading more than 10 books. But... Uh, in January, I have like 14 to 15 books to read. And in January, I have received like 18 arcs, I guess. A lot of arcs. So, I think the rule for 10 books is not going to work in January at least. So, yes, we have a lot of books to read in January. Also, one more thing. I am trying a reading journal this year. This is... For like, like I write notes in my notebook where I keep all my video ideas and notes and whatever I want to talk about. But this year I'm trying a reading journal to keep a track of what books I have read and what I will be reading and what books I have to get to. So yes, I'm trying it and I hope I, it works because I feel like when I write things, I tend to remember them more and I tend to like writing. So instead of feeding it into my laptop and always switching it on, switching it off every time, it's good to have something written where you can, you know, flip through and see what progress you have done in the whole year. So I'm trying this. This is my first month. I'm trying a journal and I will try it for like two to three months to see if I can do it or if I am doing good at it or if I'm loving it or not. So it's not a yearly thing. I'm just trying it. So yeah. So yeah, let's get into the TBR. So in January, I'm participating in two readathons. One is a weekly readathon and one is a yearly readathon. So that yearly readathon is basically from a Chantel. I'll link the channel down in the description. So it's like every month she gives you a, she has listed a genres for every month. You have to pick a book uh, for that genre and prompt genre and you have to read that. So I'm participating in that. So and also Winterveen, that is a weekly readathon that will play, take place uh, from 4th to 10th. I don't exactly remember the name. But I will be linking the announcement video uh, down in the description box so you can check it out. I felt like it was really nice and interesting and it was weekly. So after having so many books to read, like it will be good to have a challenge to complete some books in a week. So yeah, I haven't chosen much of the books. One book is for their buddy reads, which also I am combining for two other prompts. And there are total six prompts. So one book for three prompts I have taken and one more book for the other three prompts. And the prompts are really interesting and easy too. So I think that will be a good one. So yeah, let's get into the TBR. This is the third time I'm saying this and I haven't even started it. So I have this journal, which I'm not showing you because it is very, very untidy. Um, untidy in the sense I'm not liking it that much, but it's, I'm just trying it. If I love this, I will be showing you how I did it and how I made it, everything. So let's get into the TBR. The first book I want to talk about 
is for the Winterween Readathon, which is their buddy read book, which also I am comparing. I'm I'm not compare. I am putting in two more. Prompts. The first one being the buddy reads. The second one is pick a book with the haunt in the title. So the book is The Haunting of Bryn Wilder by Wendy Webb. So yes, this is a horror paranormal story mystery, and I love this genre. I don't know much about this. Like I have talked before on my channel, I don't like to know things beforehand before reading a book. I like to go in the book without knowing anything. So yeah, I haven't read the book blab yet for this book. This is the buddy read book, so I had to read this. And also the third one I have uh, done is novella. This book is like two eighty to eighty seven pages long. So yeah, this is a novella, a book less than three hundred pages. I guess she said was to be considered a novella. So yeah, this is a novella. The second book I will be reading is Misery by Stephen King. I wanted to read a Stephen King book in winters, like it is a wintry. He writes wintry genres, a uh, horror stories. So yeah, but I couldn't. So I thought this will be a good time to read it because the readathon is uh, related to all that stuff. So the first one, first prompt I have considered it in is pick a book with blue on a cover. It has blue on the cover. Second is a book with a winter setting. It has a winter setting. The book uh, Misery is set in winters. And the third one is to read a book in the dark. So I will be reading it in the dark like uh, before I go to bed or switching off the lights when I read it. It will be difficult because it's horror. What can you expect from Stephen King? It is horror. Horror. It is thriller. It's mystery. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. Also, I mentioned that I will be doing buddy reads with my best friend. So for that, I am rereading a book, A Man Called Owe by. Frederick Backman and uh, we will buddy read it we haven't decided when we'll start it and when we'll finish it we'll have a proper schedule for that but yes I love this book I love this book so much I read it in November or October and I really enjoyed it so so much so I, I wanted him to read this book because it is really good with a really really nice message I will recommend this to you guys too so yes I am rereading this book for that and the next one uh, yes the readathon so that readathon that is yearly is read your bookshelf challenge and for that, for January, we have to read a book with a homish word in the title, like home, a house, and everything like mirror or doors and walls and something like that. So for that, I chose Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Briggs. I wanted to read this book for a really long time after I heard bragging booktubers bragging about this book like saying so many good things i haven't yet listened to or heard to or uh, like i haven't like heard any bad thing about the book yet so i was so excited to read this book and i have got the chance to read it this month and also uh, the challenge that i came up with the 52 weeks challenge for that in january there were four weeks so the four prompts the first four prompts being the first one being to read a book that is a booktuber recommendation so for that i chose well met by jen de luca it is a contemporary romance and many booktubers have recommended this so i'm so excited to read this one the second one being a book that has a disability representation so i read a book um maybe someday and i really loved that book so much it had disability disability representation in it so the second book in the series in the duology is maybe now by 
Coolen Hoover. I believe that's right. Coolen Hoover. And um, yes, I am so excited to read where the story goes. So yeah, I'm picking this book up. And I think there are the same characters. It's the continuation of the same story. So yeah, there is a disability representation because the hero in this book is... is deaf he cannot listen to and also he cannot speak so yeah so the third one is to read a book with the animal on the cover so i am picking the same buddy read book for this a man called owe by frederick backman it has a cat on the cover so yeah this will go well with this prompt the fourth prompt is to pick a, a book with a random letter generator so i will do a random letter generator for this one and here's the clip for that so you just saw the clip uh, and i got m and for that i like i did it earlier before filming this one so i picked Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children for this prompt and also the January prompt for Read Your Bookshelf Challenge matched this so I was so lucky that I did not have to add one more book to my reading list so yeah that was one so I uh, first picked this book for this prompt and then also I adjusted it in uh, the read your bookshelf challenge so yes this is the book that i will be reading for this prompt and read your bookshelf challenge i'm so lucky i got m okay so till now i think we have done i'm looking into my reading journal that i made it is quite easy you know like i have a list in front of me which is easy to then one two three four five six books Oh my god there's so many books so yeah also i am doing a pop sugar challenge that i told you it has really really good prompts so for that i had there was a prompt to read a graphic novel so no i'm sorry by a muslim american author so i chose the book Miss Marvel Volume 1 by G. Willow Wilson. G. Willow Willow Wilson is American who is converted into a Muslim. So yeah, I will be reading this book because I really wanted to read graphic novels and comics this year because I never read these, these books. I find them, I don't find them like too good. Like not good, but I am not into graphic novels. So I thought to read some of them and this was a good time to start you know so yeah i choose that one this is not big like it's 120 100 to 120 pages graphic novels are easy to read so yeah so for uh next one which is the next one yeah this one also i mentioned that i will be doing genre specific books each month so for january we had to read a middle grade book so this book it's like controversial to talk about jk rowling you know after what she said and what she did but i feel like if you are not contributing anything to her and you're not you know uh, giving her giving something into her pocket then it's okay like see we cannot put away books as book lovers we cannot put away books it's very difficult if there's a book in the market we want to read it like yeah but whatever she said was bad in the pop sugar challenge there is a prompt to read a book that you got for free so yeah i got this book for free yeah so the eka bog by jk rowling i got this book and uh, I won't tell you how I got it for free because uh, that won't be good. So yeah, I haven't bought it, but I got it and I will be reading it for middle grade. Genre specific book that I will read. Also, I said that I will be reading one book from a series like I will be completing a few series. Uh, 
so i will read first book from the six of crows series in january so the book is six of crows by lee bardugo i talked about like i will be talking about i already made the videos sorry but it is in my five star predictions it is in my 21 books that i want to read in 2021 so yeah i will be reading this book for my series challenge that i made myself to take so yeah i am finally graduated the result just came out like yesterday and i'm so so happy i got really good marks and so now i have taken admission in ma in english so i'm learning literature for that i have to read so many novels and plays so i have included two plays in this one that i will be reading the first one is waiting for god or for uh, by samuel beckett and this i was supposed to read in october but i didn't so yeah i have to read it now like it's not a big book but like a big play it's just a play and but you know when you have to study you have to make notes and while i will be reading this book i will be making notes so it will be like a lengthy one for me because i have to read it i have to study it and i have to make notes so yeah maybe this is a shorter book but not this time not for this time and the second one is also for my english paper hamlet by shakespeare this is a quite big book and i hope i complete it and yeah this two books are for my english paper that i have included in this one and also i have one audio book that is the christmas pact by penelope ward and v keeland so i was so 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 into reading this book on christmas but i couldn't so i will be reading it in january i have the audio book for this and i'm so excited to read it i have not uh, heard too many things about the book but whatever i have heard are good so i will be reading this one and also i have two arcs that i will be reading that will be expiring on net galley in january so i have to read these two books so these are also on my tbr the first one is the audio book winter of the wolf by martha hunt and this is a this is a ya mystery contemporary book this is uh, not that big it's 260 pages around 260 pages and it's an audio book so it will be easy to read uh, to listen to so that's why and it is expiring in you know january so i have to read it in january the next one is also an arc that i got from net galley the demons pursue of more by aisha mcgrory and this is this also is expiring in january and this is 700 plus pages this is the longest and the largest book on my january tbr and i'm so much uh, tense about reading it because this is a really big book and also i have to study for my english paper also i have so many books to complete also i have 18 arcs to look into so this is a really difficult one but yes i will be reading it i will try to read it but i won't read it at first i will first read the short book so i i will be you know happy that i read so many of them so yeah uh, this is a paranormal magic which i love but i cannot read it oh my god i want to like i love paranormal i love mystery thrillers i am so into this genre but i cannot like oh my god this is such a big book and if i start reading it at first i will not be reading so many books in my tbr so I, it's better to read the rest of the books and not reading this right now like i will try and read it because i have like 3 to 4 audio books and one reread so that reread won't take much time and the three audio books um won't take that much time too so i hope i get into this book i'll try my level best best and also uh yeah this was it for my tbr but 
If I do not complete my TPR, I won't be punishing myself in February because we have been through a lot of punishments in 2020. So we need no more punishments. So yeah, we can say that it's a challenge or not. It's a challenge or something, whatever you want to say that I want to be doing another book if I like if I missed reading two books. So I want to be putting two new books in my February TBR, but continuing these books, like taking these two books forward in February to read them in February. So yeah, this will this way I won't be putting extra books on my TBR and I will be completing the books that I picked. So yeah, the books I that I will not be able to read in January will be transferred to my February TBR. So yeah, that that's fair. That's a challenge and a punishment and whatever you want to call it. And also not a burden on me. So yeah. So I hope you liked my January TBR. I know I don't, you know, tell book bloods or whatever in TBR videos or before reading the books. But I feel that it is good for you and me too. So yeah, I this is my January TBR, a very ambitious TBR which I, I don't know, I will try to complete because I don't want punishment in February because February is a short month and I know I have to complete this 18 arcs that I got in January till February. Uh, so yeah, pray for me. Hope my January will be good. Um, and also, yeah, this was it for the video i hope you have a very very happy new year and uh, stay safe stay at home stay healthy we'll meet in the next video